Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. This strong bones class is osteopenia and osteoporosis safe. You are going to increase that bone density and increase that core strength to help you balance. You will need a pair of a hand weight. I'm using one kilo weight here. You may use slightly lighter weight if you wish and you may need a cushion to support if you have a severe osteoporosis. All right, when you're ready, let's get started. Let's put the hand weight to the side. I'm gonna put them this way and we will stand. Do not move, do not roll. We will stand. All right, standing nice and tall, feet are parallel position. I really want you to fire up the leg muscles upward to support the pelvis nice and tall in the spine, growing tall the crown of the head here. We are going to breathe. We're just going to inhale, expand the ribs, expand the belly. As you exhale, feeling the zipping up, drawing up sensation abdominal and drawing the belly in like as if you're wearing a tight corset. In breath, ribs opening, belly relaxing, exhale. Again, in breath, exhale, two more, last one, now we keep that center tight, hands on the hips here, breathe in. Exhale, we're going to zip up again and rise up to the ball of the feet. Find your balance, hold it in. Inhale, resist. Double heel raises. Exhale, up. Inhale, resist. Feel free to hold on to a wall or the back of the chair if you find balance a bit of challenge today. Exhale, up. In breath. Two more, up. Lower. Last one, we're going to stay up here, prancing, lower your right heel down, watch the pelvis, keep it level, lift it up and lower. We're going to lift and resist that. Level the pelvis, up, lift, lift, up, one more each side, last one. Both legs up or heels come down. All right, left arm up to the sky. Grab onto the wrist, reach up and reaching across. Breathing here. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Let it go. We switch. The other arm comes up. Grab onto the wrist, reaching across. Inhale, exhale, two more, last, and release. Okay, now we are going to send the pelvis back, lean the body forward, and then we're going to grab the weight without hunching, flattening, without curling the spine, keep the back flat and come up. All right, we got our little squat here. So we're gonna send the pelvis back as we inhale. And then exhale, straight up, bend the elbows, take it up. And again, inhale, exhale. In breath. Exhale. Inhale, leaning forward, exhale. Three more. Try to keep the back nice and long here. And two. Last one. And press up and release. Good job. Hands on here, here for me, please. Zipping up the center. Now what we're going to do, we're going to march. So we're going to take your left leg up and down. Switch. Keep the pelvis. Stable, level, that's it. And 
change. Tall in your center, long in the spine. Change. Three, three, two, two, one, one, release. All right, now this time we're gonna keep your back straight. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna take the arms forward and we're gonna lift up and then out to the side and lift up. In breath, exhale. The back maintain straight. Exhale, inhale, long back, out, forward, out, and three, two, last, good job, all right, now here, we're going to take your left leg up to tabletop, and we're gonna balance one arm on top and the other one on top of the other, one arm below and the other one on top. There we go. <laughs> now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop the pelvis. I'm gonna lift, level up, and sink. Lift, level up. Again, feel free to hold onto the wall or something next to you to help you balance, drop. And lift, two more. And lift, last one. And lift and release, switching. Anchoring the foot, find that balance, and one arm and the other one on top. Make sure you do the reverse arrangement, down with the hip and lift and release and lift, release and lift. And five, four, three, two, last, brilliant, and let it go. All right, it's time to go down to the floor. So carefully descend yourself down into a lunge and then roll to the side and go ahead and lie on your back. Hand weight on the side of the pelvis, arms reaching long here, feet are parallel in line with your sit bone, chest is open, Okay, now take a deep breath. Exhale, we need to draw in the center, wrap around the waistline and then pressing the feet, pressing the arms, lift the pelvis up. Hinging down from the hip socket lower and lift. Two our bridges here and lift. Inhale, hinging down. Exhale, lift. And five more. The back maintains straight and three, two, one more, up. We're gonna stay up here, grab the arm weight, take it up to the sky, turn the palms facing each other, we open the arm. Exhale, pelvis stay high, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Five more. Four, three, work the inner thighs, do not let the knees swell, splay out to the side. Last, good, arms down by the side and lower the pelvis down, good job. All right, take the arms up to the sky, palms facing each other here. I actually changed my mind, the palms should face towards the knee. Now, leg changes, right leg up to the tabletop, Right, breathe out, drawing the abdominal. We're going to switch the leg from the hip joint, lower and lift. And exhale, lower and lift. And change. And hold that center tightly, maintain the abdominal inward and downward to the floor all the time. Three. Three, two, two, one, one, both legs up and tabletop. Let's bring the right arm pressing against the left thigh. Go into a fist and knuckle to your thigh. Here, extend your right leg out. Single leg stretch and bring it in. Exhale, single leg stretch 
and bring it in. Now, exhale out. If you're up for it, turn the left arm facing inward. Open the arm to the side, extend the right leg. Exhale, bring them to the middle. Inhale, open. Exhale, and four. Exhale, three, two, one. Bring it in. All right, we'll switch. Left hand against the right thigh. Inhale, extend the left leg. And, and again, if you're up for it, we are going to open the right arm, extend the left leg forward. And out. Four. Three. Two. Last, beautiful, hug the legs in, stretch the lower back, take an in breath, exhale, and release, one leg down, second leg down, let's rotate to the side, we can take the hand weight down to the floor, coming up onto our side here. Now, if this position feels uncomfortable for you, go ahead and grab that cushion that we had before, and I'd like you to Place your hips onto the cushion and onto the mat. If you're okay in this position without the cushion, we do not need it. So I'm going to leave it to you. Right, I'm not going to use the cushion today. Again, feel free to use it. Forearm down here, lifting the underneath side here, top leg long. All right, we want to refrain from hanging down this way. Instead, we're going to pull up the armpit girdle towards the heart. Long back, chest open. Ready? We're going to lift this up. Up. Lower. Up. Lower. Just three more. Up. Lower. Two. Up. Lower. Last. Beautiful. All right. Take it in. Other side. Extend the top leg. Bend the bottom leg, the foot in line with a sit bone here. Again, forearm down, proud chest, long spine, elegant body, and press up. I want it to feel light. We're going to draw that center in, lifting up from the center, and come up. And then lightness, and down. Two more, up, and down. Last one, up. Beautiful work and come up. All right, onto a quadruped position. We are going to align the shoulder with the wrist, hip, and the knee here. Spread the collarbone, sp spread your shoulder blade, long back, extend the spine a little bit here. So we're going to refrain ourselves from hunching the back. All right, abdominal on. And then we're going to extend your left leg behind you without shifting the pelvis. The opposite arm in front of you. Hold your center. And we're going to lift the arm and the leg. We're going to hold this position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring them back. We switch. We set the center, other leg out, opposite arm forward, and reach, hold. Stay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down and bring it in. Good job. All right, we're going to lie on up front. This is where the cushion comes handy. You can rest your pelvis on top of the cushion. Again, if you have severe orthoporosis, I highly recommend you to do that. Or if you feel uncomfortable in the bone area as well, you can use the cushion. 
place a cushion underneath the pelvis, right, and have the leg long in this position. Again, this is just an optional, you do not have to use it. Right, I'm gonna put this away for myself, and I'm gonna lie on my belly, stack one hand on top of the other, forearm in front of you here, right, diamond press, legs long, pick up the abdominal, send the sitting bone to the feet, and then from here, glide in shoulder blades, and as you inhale, we're gonna lift the chest up into extension. Where you should be feeling here, you should feel it in the muscle in the middle back. Your shoulder blades are dripping down towards your middle spine, and your front of the chest is going to reach forward and up like an aeroplane about to take off. And then you should feel that middle back, shoulders easy, neck and easy, no tension in the neck, and then come back down. Repeat, inhaling, glide the shoulder blades down, shine your sternum forward and take it forward and up. And exhale, come back down. Repeat two more times, inhaling, forward, up. Exhaling, down you go. Last one, inhaling, forward, up. Exhale, down you go. Now this time, right hand on top of the left, just make sure you have that arrangement. We're going to keep the right hand with the forehead. We're gonna come up, take the right arm with you, and we're gonna take it back down. Again, in breath. Take the right arm with you. Exhale, take it down, two more. In breath. Exhale, last one. In breath, exhale, we'll switch. Other hand, left hand on top of the right, and repeat, in breath, exhale, and in breath. Feeling the muscle in the middle back, taking your arp into extension, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, Exhale, beautiful work, and release. Bring the forearm to the side of your body. Use your forearm to push into the floor, pick up the belly, and then send the pelvis back. Walk your hands with you into your rest position. Curl the tail under, stretch your back here, breathing into the back of the ribs. Exhale, one more. Exhale and slowly help yourself up. And how we're gonna get up? We're gonna take one leg forward into a lunge position, tuck the back toes under, zip up, and help yourself up, come up to a standing position. Thank you for moving with me today. I hope you enjoy the class. I'll see you back tomorrow for another amazing class. Keep on your practice, consistency, Will take you far. Take care. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my 7 day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day.